bookish people it's Brittany and today I am doing the moon child book tag this book tag was created by Rhiannon from Crescent Moon Reads and I will link her original video down below today is the first day of the October full moon and so I thought that it was the perfect time to do this tag the full moon will be hitting its apex tomorrow and I just love when the moon is full in the sky it's just such a magical time so let's get right into these questions full moon a book that has a supernatural creature in it. And for this one, I went with Moonstruck by Grace Ellis. This is a graphic novel that's based in this college town, and everyone there is some kind of supernatural creature, either a witch or a werewolf or a centaur or something like that, and it takes place in a cute little coffee shop, and the group of friends have to team up together to stop a bad guy from stealing everyone's magic. Starry Night, a book that has a beautiful starry cover. For this one, I went with Starflight by Melissa Landers. Uh, it's been a while since I read this book, but it, it takes place in space about this girl who wants a new life and the rich guy who tortured her and the tables turn and he is framed for conspiracy on Earth and she cons him into believing that he's her servant. So they go onto the spaceship and, well, adventure ensues. It is a pretty good book. I really enjoyed it. Out of this world, favorite sci-fi book. And this one for me is The Lunar Chronicles. This starts with Cinder and this is by Marissa Meyer. These books are all retellings of different fairy tales. This one is about Cinderella, then Scarlet is about uh, Little Red Riding Hood, and Crest is about Rapunzel, and then Winter, which I don't have, is about Snow White. And they all take place in the same world, spanning the same story. This is just such an awesome series about loyalty and found family and figuring out who you are and your place in the world. Creature of the Night, a thriller with a killer. I don't read very many thriller books, and by many I mean like none. None. So for this one I went with a mystery book that I do love, and that is A High and Finish by Kate Carlisle. This is a cozy mystery book, so it's basically like chiclet. This is all about Shannon Hammer, who owns her own construction company. And one night, she goes on a very, very terrible date. Very terrible. And the next day, her date is found murdered. Of course, the police think that she did it. So now it is up to Shannon and her friends to figure out who the actual killer is before the killer comes after her. The Moon Controls the Tide. A book that deals with water. For this one I went with Stars of Fortune by Nora Roberts. This book is about six people who come together to find stars that fell from the sky after they were blessed by three different goddesses. Not only do all three of these books take place near water or on an island, they do a lot of scuba diving and they spend a lot of time in the water as well. So it is very water based and there's a lot of water scenes and a lot of talk about water and so these books are perfect for water. Also look how shiny this book is. Daughters of the Moon, a book that features some serious girl power plus friendship. For this one I went with Spell on Wheels by Kate Leth. This is another graphic novel about three witches whose stuff gets stolen and they have to go track it down and figure out who stole it and why. I loved this graphic novel so much. I love the girl friendship in it and how they're all very powerful witches and how they all pick each other up and are there for each other when they stumble and it's just such an awesome graphic novel and so witchy and so fun and if you haven't read it yet, you really should. Spaceship, your OTP. Kuro and Akiva. This was easy. I love these two. So much. My heart belongs to these two. Oh, Waxes and Wanes, a book that played with your emotions. Instead of a book, I went with a series, and I went with The Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass. Um, hello, emotional roller coaster. Goodness, this series has my emotions all over the place. I'm happy one minute and then mad the next, and you never know who you're supposed to ship and who you're supposed to hate and what's going on. It is the epitome of an emotional roller coaster. Music of the Night, a book that has to deal with music. I have never personally read this book, but this is the first book that came to mind when I thought about music, and that is A Thousand Perfect Notes by C.G. Drews. A Thousand Perfect Notes has to do with a music prodigy. The whole book is just centered around 
music. It is a pretty well-loved book that I hope to one day get to. After Hours, a book that has night in the title. Muse of Nightmares. Never night. You should read these books. Crescent Moon, a book that deals with a goddess or goddesses. I know it's Strange the Dreamer for this one. There are so many different moving parts of Strange the Dreamer that it is hard to give an accurate synopsis. But there's a character whose nickname is the God Slayer, so that should tell you that there's goddesses in here. But I won't tell you much more than that. That's all of the questions. If you haven't, please go check out Rhiannon's channel. It is so wonderful. Down in the comments below, tell me any of your favorite books that have night in the title, that deal with goddesses or the moon. Don't forget that all my social media links are down in the description below. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the bookish content that I put out. That's all for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!